Hi, I'm Bree Balchunas, and this is the Orlando Health News Review for November 5th. Orlando Health took a step closer last week to bringing a revolutionary new cancer treatment to Central Florida. The Proton Accelerator, which weighs 58 tons, that's the equivalent of seven fully grown elephants, was carefully placed into the Proton Center's vault. Proton therapy is a much more precise form of treatment and uses protons rather than x-rays for radiation treatments. This reduces the dose of radiation to surrounding normal tissue and has fewer side effects for patients. To date, there are only 15 proton therapy centers in the United States. Our cancer center anticipates training patients at the proton therapy center in early 2016. Also last week, team members around Orlando Health got a little spooky to celebrate Halloween. Trick-or-treaters were spotted at Arnold Palmer Hospital while team members dressed as skeletons, superheroes, and Dr. Seuss characters, and decorated themed tables around the lobby. A pumpkin carving contest was held in multiple locations, and some team members got pretty crafty. There were scary pumpkins, cute pumpkins, electric pumpkins, and even a few pumpkins showing their Orlando Health spirit. Thank you to all the departments that showed their Halloween spirit and congratulations to the winning pumpkins at each site. The pet therapy team was also in full Halloween spirit. After visiting patients in their costumes, the pet therapy team paused to have a costume contest. Dogs dressed as princesses, mummies, and bumblebees welcomed team members to vote on the best dressed pup. If you missed it, don't terrier yourself up about it. Just check Swift to see the photos of the event. Finally, also taking place on Halloween, Orlando Health conducted its annual alternate medical treatment site setup training, Mannequin Apocalypse. The whole site was set up in an hour and 21 minutes, and the team also ran through a scenario that might require this treatment site. It's comforting that we have this for our community to take care of them, and it's a lot of fun to train and hone our skills. The training was really useful. I can bring this back to the team members and encourage them to participate if they have the opportunity because it really was very helpful. Team members also stopped by the site to learn more about Orlando Health preparation for emergency situations. That's it for today's edition. For the Orlando Health News Review, I'm Brie Balchunas.